Teams meetings are a great way to provide feedback to your students, either in small groups or one-on-one. -on -one. Now, there's a couple of ways you can schedule your meeting with students. One way is to schedule it to happen in the future by going to your calendar in Teams over here on the Teams navigation bar at the left. And then once I'm in here, I'm going to come up to the top right and I'm going to click the drop down next to new meeting and select schedule meeting. Here I'll provide the title. Then I'll need to add the attendees, which would be the student or students you'll be meeting with. And again, you can just type in their names. Uh, it will search the names in your organization and you can select the appropriate user. You can select your date and time to schedule this. All right. And there's no need to add a location because this will become a Teams meeting with a link to join the meeting. But you might want to add here that this is online. You can also optionally add details about the meeting, perhaps what you'll be discussing. And you can even add links in here for resources that you might be discussing during the meeting. All right, when you're done, you're simply going to click send. This meeting will be emailed to the student or students. Uh, so they'll get an email notification that this is happening. And they'll be able to see this on their calendar. And they can get to their team's calendar and access the join link to the meeting. So that's one way to do it. That, this way we scheduled it. Another way to do this is to start your meeting with a student immediately. So if your student or students realize uh, are aware that you'll be calling them, you can go here to your calls button in the Teams navigation bar at the left, and you can go down to make a call. Here you can search a student by name and again select that user. And then you can go down to the video call, which will essentially start a Teams video meeting. If you want to start a, a group call with more than one student, simply continue typing in names in order to add more students to this call. Once you have all the students in, simply go down to your video call button and this will launch your meeting. All right, and that is how you can utilize Microsoft Teams meetings to provide one-on-one -on -one or group coaching and feedback.